What's good, Mono fam? Hope you're doing well. Today I have with me Mr. Scotty Winstrom. How you doing, bud? Doing good, man. Just trying to stay in from the stay dry. It's been raining here all week. <laughs> I know you. Well, I mean, you told me that the weather's so bad. You know, it's kind of affecting the the coverage and whatnot. So I'm glad you made time for us. You got a lot of stuff on your plate, man. Yeah, no worries. Like I said, I can usually, I'm flexible. I just got to know ahead of time and then I can, I can plan about anything. So, yeah, yeah. And so it, it's, that's probably a good thing to kind of lead into, you know, one of the things I want to do, like I said, is kind of intro you and, you know, just kind of tell everybody on the page about you. But as we've sat and talked some, man, I, I've learned a little bit more about you. It's crazy the schedule that you keep. I don't think a lot of people know, um, how your race season is actual, actually structured with travel and whatnot. And so to fit us in, it's cool. Um, out of the rounds you've done so far, how's the travel been for? Like, like what, what's the schedule been like? Um, I've had a few delayed flights, but nothing too crazy. But I fly out. Uh, I work. Me and my wife own a gym in Jefferson, Texas, where I live. So I work that Monday through Thursday. And then I fly, fly out to whichever round we're going to Friday morning out of Dallas. And then I arrive at the track Friday. We try to get stuff ready, race Saturday, and then up early and fly home Sunday, and then back to work Monday. <laughs> Dude, that's, that's not everyone's schedule in Supercross, right? There's some guys who, who have that grind, but not yeah. everybody's got that. that that's actually... That's cool. That's commitment. That's for sure. And, uh, yeah, I thought I lost that over? you. I lost ah. you. My connection lost. It's all good. It's all good. It's it's raining so hard over there. It probably might do that a couple of times, but that's okay. That's okay. So finish telling us about uh finish telling us about the schedule. We were talking about the traveling stuff. You own the gym, or you I mean you guys work the gym and you have some other people working it with you. Does it make it hard for your wife to get over to the races with all that going on, too? Yeah. Uh, and a lot of it is it's just expensive. She comes to some of the closer races, but she also runs marathons. And she's actually going, she's actually flying to Phoenix this weekend while I'll be in San Diego because she is uh, trying to qualify for the Boston Marathon. Oh, so wow. she's actually doing the race travel schedule this weekend. But uh, usually on weekends, she stays home and does her running when I go race. And then we have a four-year-old daughter. She just turned four Saturday. And, uh, Congrats, good. Very <laughs> so cool. So we do that. Yeah, thanks. Well, if she's training, that means she's got some long runs. She's got short runs. She's actually got to be able to have some time to make that work, man. That's Yeah. That's no small task. She's going after the Boston. That's serious. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I, to come where she came from, I mean, she hasn't. It's not like she ran since she was a little kid or yeah. nothing. Like she kind of picked it up kind of seriously, like five years ago. So she's she's got she's gotten a long ways in five years. So. Wow, impressive, dude. And uh, tell her that's, that's <clears throat> impressive. We kind of help we kind of help each other out. Like I'll take some I'll take a shift at the gym in the morning. Maybe maybe she can run, and then she takes the mid you know takes some stuff midday so I can do motocross stuff and practice myself so I can get ready to go race. Okay. And then we'll be there uh, tonight. We'll both be there. <laughs> nice. So tell us about the season so far. Uh, it's been so-so. Um, some decent races, some not-so-good races. I got sick. Pretty sure I had the flu uh, during Anaheim 2. Yeah. And I was feeling so bad that I finally got on some better medicine that would help with the flu. And I skipped last, or I skipped Phoenix, and then came back for Oakland last weekend. So yeah. St. Louis and Oakland were decent races for me. Uh, obviously, Anaheim too was bad. Like that's the sickest I've ever been when I raced. Wow. Supercross. So I was, I was no good, but I was struggling. I was tired after track walk. So, but <laughs> oh, man. all in all, my riding's been good. And it's like I can always, always clean stuff up and always do stuff a little better, but. Uh, my bike styled in, like, I feel like I kind of started from settings from last year because their bikes are very similar. Right. And that's always a help because sometimes having a new bike is like, it feels good at the practice track and then you go to A1 and it's not the same. So, uh, 
feel like my motorcycle's in a good spot, and then I just need to clean up some areas, get some better starts, and that'll lead to better finishes. Tell everybody what you're riding. What's the war pony? Uh, Kawasaki 450. Uh, nice. that I would say, I mean, all the bikes are good nowadays, but that's that's a really good bike, and you don't you don't got to do much to them to have them race ready. I mean, our bikes are <clears throat> we have race tech to our suspension, so we have you know stock suspension with the race tech gold valves in there right. all stuff you can purchase purchase and then i have an ignition i have a none exhaust help kind of deliver the power the bike already has and then i run a recluse clutch and other my bike's you know stock you know performance wise dude that was actually so, a really good pitch for all of those places good job bang for your buck if you're just a if you're just a uh, weekend warrior that's yeah. stuff to get yeah Especially well, suspension. Well, tell us about the team, man. How's the team doing? The team's doing awesome. It's uh, Bubba Pauly, uh, Juan Cross from Spain, and myself. And this is the second full year that uh, me and Juan have been teamed up with Bubba from the TXS Productions, Mad Parts, Ronnie Prado Company, Kawasaki team. Mm -hmm. And we've got some great sponsors behind us. Uh, it's a great crew of people that help us make it happen, make us look good. I mean, we I mean, you see us in the pits, we don't look like a privateer team. You know, we look like a heavily supported team, and that's good yeah. for us and good for our sponsors. That's right. And uh, I kind of did – I filled in for – kind of filled in for Michael Akaiden in 2018 for a few races because he got hurt. And mm -hmm. then that's kind of how my relationship with the team and Bubba started. And then we went from there. And last year was our first full year, and we had a pretty good year. And uh, looking forward to being better this year. Well, you're not lying. You guys look good, man. You really look good. I um, It's a good caveat into the, the sponsors thing, too. I want to make sure we don't leave anybody out. Can you uh, kind of tell us anybody you need, to, you need to thank or you need to mention or whatnot while we're chatting? Yeah, I have a long list. Like, it's really long, <laughs> which is great. And we are, all of us are super, super, super thankful for everybody that helps us. Uh, so T Thomas TXS Productions out of Las Vegas, our title sponsor, uh, Mad Parts, um, like online parts for your, for your dirt bike. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they're a sister company of Jonesboro Cycle ATV Kawasaki, the dealership that supports our team. Mm -hmm. Ronnie Prado Company from Texas, huge help, huge help to us and a uh, good guy. He will be flying up to San Diego with me here in a few days. Oh, nice. Uh, Double Eagle MX, a new track training facility opening up in the Midwest area, not far not far from St. Louis. Uh, FXR, Patriot Mergers, Top Secret Designs Graphics, DCS Equipment, Blood Lubricants on Oil, Dedicated Ride Co., St. Louis Tattoo, AccuAir Heating and Air, LS2 Helmets, Tamer, Recluse Clutches, Race Tech, Grant Siding, Phoenix Handlebars, Rhino Power, Flow Vision Goggles, No Nay Exhaust. Double Tough Truck Tarps, Bolt Hardware, No Toil uh, Air Filters, Forma Boots, Dirt Chicks, uh, Sprockets, Gold Friend Brakes, and then me personally, I have a few also personal sponsors, Mobius Knee Braces, also Plumbing, and then uh, we have Hitch Hotel, Moto Tape helps the team, EVS Coolant, or uh, Evans Coolant, Midway Restaurant Supply, LDF Racing, uh, Bowen Chiropractic, Griggs and Tlatnik, uh Accounting, and Smooth Fabrication. That's a big list, isn't it? That's a list. That's a list, but we don't want to yeah, leave, any, we don't wanna leave anybody awesome. out. That's a good, yeah, that's a good list. That's a good list. Yeah. So we had, a we had a chance to talk about the wife, um, travel schedule. Oh, I forgot gate drop designs, painting our helmets. <laughs> gate drop gate designs. Drop. Oh, for real? Dude, the helmets are sick. The helmets are sick, so I'm glad yeah, you didn't good. lead those off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Logos good lid. painted in, and they look good, yeah. Good lid kids, dude. Good lid kids. So, <laughs> let's see. Uh, old lady, training, travel. We talked about a couple of rounds. What do we have for the rest of the for the rest of the season? Tell us a little bit about that, because we talked about team and sponsors, too. I just want to make sure we get kind of uh, – you know, 30,000 foot elevation on how to rest the season, what you're looking for out of it. And then, you know, I'll let you go. We will be doing, our team will be doing the rest of the rounds. 
We are a 17 round three man 450 team. Right. And I know for myself as well as my teammates is we we all want to get in that main event, and we all three want to be in the main event at the same time. So <laughs> that is definitely the next step for all three of us uh, is to get get good starts and hopefully get it done in the heat race and and just get in the main. But then also from week to week, whether you're in the main or not, just all of us improving. Yeah. You know, just getting better and uh, learning from our mistakes because we're all going to make mistakes. Everybody does. And uh, that's another thing. We have a big help from Brian McDonald. He helps us out throughout the day with some video and just line selection and the stuff that we can't see when we're on the track. There's so much going on. Right. So as long as we're making improvements and learning week to week, we're going to reach our goal. Okay. No, I, it's good to hear. I, I have a question, though, Just and this is kind of just a side question. Uh -huh. Where you, um, Were you guys, obviously you and your wife are – serious gym rats at this point would you say you are in better physical shape than Polly? everybody else on the team no no really? well, no because one good thing about the gym is like worst case worst case scenario i can get a workout in if we get slam busy at work right but most of those hours i spend in the gym i'm helping other people work out versus myself oh. so <laughs> uh, but it's still flexible where i have a normal job and but i can still like i went uh, I had off middle part of the day yesterday, so uh, obviously, obviously it's raining here in Texas. So I went for a for a five mile run, and then I had a forty five minute break at my gym where I had a client cancel, mm -hmm. and I did a forty five minute weight training. So I got you know almost two hours worth of working out in yesterday. So I kind of fit it in when I can, but at the same time it's still flexible. Okay. Had it not been raining, I wouldn't have gone and run. I would have rode, I would have rode my practice bike right here. So, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, for, yeah, I mean, but those guys, those guys are riding their bicycles and riding their dirt bikes too. So, you know, I, we're all, we're all, we all try to be in the best shape we can be with, you know, what time we have. So, so the, the whole call, I, I, I actually think I'm hearing the rain hitting the building. Is it raining that hard? Yeah, I'm in my garage just so yeah, I'm yeah, kind of yeah. away from my uh, just other distractions, you know, other noise and stuff. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's pouring. Dude, you can get serious. You can <laughs> There'll be no it, ride so. for me until – I won't ride till San Diego. <laughs> it's supposed to rain tomorrow, too. So I will oh. – uh, no riding for me till pre-practice San Diego. Well, we were talking about all the teaching you do during the summer, too, so serious. Like around Denver or so – Let's make sure that we, you know, we get that out in front of your area because there's lots of guys who are not only skilled, but they're really, really good with people. And so where you already are yeah. kind of doing training, personal training and whatnot, I bet you give, you know, some really good classes and whatnot. So let's, so seriously, let's talk about it the more we get down the road because definitely there's a lot of guys out there who, they uh they definitely could use the help and so and and def and your summer right I mean I know you don't have a ton of time during the summer but if you're going to be teaching we want to make sure we let people know when you're going to oh, be yeah. available and where so yeah I don't I don't do the outdoors but I'm right. always still doing local races and I'm still I'm still ri I'm riding and practicing like I'm getting ready for a race and you know all through the summer. Nice. And then, yeah, still work at my gym, but that's just Monday through Thursday. So weekends, I do coaching, uh, motocross. And like I said, if you can get to my property, we have uh, we have tracks here out on our 50 acres. My father Dude, calls 50 acres. 50 acres. So I even, yeah. I even train people. I even train people on a Tuesday during the summer, like mid midday. Because like I said, I work at the gym from like 6 a.m. to 10. Yeah. And then I have off till like 4, 4 or 4.30. And if I got nice. people I'm training, my wife will go to the gym and she'll take the first, you know, hour, hour and a half until I can arrive. So we work together. So not to boast about it, but pretty smart about, about figuring out a way to make a living and do stuff and still be a kid and race dirt bikes.